Amanil Kumar, thanks to the subscribers for an excellent question on reciprocal property to solve inequalities. I have taken a variation to this to discuss with you further on such solutions. The question here is that 0 is less than 4 over x, which is less than 2 over 5, and this kind of a double inequality is to be solved. Now we can treat this in two parts. We can write this as 0 is less than 4 over x and let me write it capital and 4 over x is also less than 2 over 5. That is what we mean by this double inequality. Now let's look at the left side. 0 is less than something. That means that means 4 over x is positive. That means 4 over x is positive. Is it okay? And that should be possible if x is positive. Is it okay? So any value of x which is greater than 0 can work for this. That is kind of reciprocal property, right? So we just kind of applied it, uh, but not exactly. Let me show it on a number line, what I'm trying to say. So on a number line, what we are saying is, if this is 0, then the value of x from the left side is that it should be positive, means on the right side of the number line. Is it okay? So this is from here. Now, we will solve the other half. Since x is greater than 0, we say x is greater than 0, that means it is positive, we can actually cross multiply, correct? Otherwise, if it is negative, multiplying by x, we have to reverse the sign. Since it is positive, we will not be reversing the sign. Got it? Okay. So what should we do? We'll just cross multiply. So we get 4 times 5. Let me write 4 times 5 is less than 2x. Okay. And to get the value of x, we'll multiply 4 times 5 is 20 and then divide by 2. So we say x is greater than 10, right? So that is how we get our solution. Let's say this is 10 for us. In that case, the solution from the right side is kind of like this. The condition is AND, right? Therefore, the answer should be x should be greater than 10, right? So that becomes the answer for us. I hope that is clear. So in such cases, you can split the inequality into two parts and apply AND condition. The first part on your left indicates that x is positive. Now treating x as positive, we can solve the right part by cross multiplication and not changing the inequality direction. I hope that helps. This is a great strategy in addition to the reciprocal properties which you are learning in these set of videos. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.